in this week's video, the rocket quick shot. And let's dive in with tip number one, which is making sure that, that the coast is clear and that you're clearing all obstacles. In other words, make sure that there's nothing around before you set your drone into an auto mode in which it's flying directly up and potentially very high. There isn't a bunch of things around. I can't tell you how many people I help to fly drones who don't actually make sure the coast is clear and look both ways and look up and down before they set their drone for a quick shot. So make sure the coast is clear. The second tip I have for you is around lining up your shot. And the beautiful thing about a rocket is generally your subject is directly in the center. So just stick it in the center and let the drone fly directly up. But there are some considerations, whether you're using this footage for YouTube, horizontal or hamburger, or for Instagram or reels or TikTok or making it vertical basically. So there are considerations on should your drone be facing this way or that way, depending on what's around you. So here are two examples. One is the horizontal shot I have here versus something like this where it's turned and being optimized for when it's cropped for Instagram. And if you want to see that full video, check it out. Link in the description below. I show you how to optimize this exact video for Instagram, which by the way, if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine and this is Create with CL where I give away all of my secrets on being a travel creator and I love flying drones. They're so easy and so fun. Check the description because I do a lot of stuff. Free Facebook group where I help you out. Tons of flying lessons, meetups, etc. Don't miss a thing. Check the description below and let's talk about tip number three. This shot, it was a badass shot. She did a really great job, especially because she's a new drone pilot. The things she does super, super well. The first one is she puts the controller away. And that's a really awesome thing because you don't really want it next to you. She puts it with her pile of belongings. The second thing she does really well is she lines herself up. You can see she's perfectly in the center of the frame. Not only that, she's lined up with the dude that's in the water. Nice work, girlfriend. And lastly, she rocks her pose and she mostly, she moves a little bit, it's hard to see it, but she keeps her pose super still. If this was a photo, yes, moving the controller out of the shot is awesome because you can edit it out super easily. With video, not as much. So piling things together is really helpful, but another one is bringing something into the shot to hide it in a beautiful way. An example would be taking a colorful beach towel like the tessellate towel I have here and laying on top of it and putting the controller underneath the towel. However, this means you can't be right up on the water's edge, which in my opinion is a much more beautiful, dramatic shot, just the way Faye did it. So I'd say only take this option if you want to avoid getting super sandy and potentially pummeled by the waves like I did and get water in your ears. The next thing is once you strike that pose, do not move. So if you're choosing a pose where you're not moving, do not move. But if you're choosing a pose with movement, rock that movement. I would also say the seaweed in the trees don't really add to the beauty of the shot. So either crop that out or don't let it get into the shot in the first place. Faye's shot is really, really beautiful. And one of the ways I love to show that gooey, gooey waves and ocean is to shoot in a higher frames per second and then slow it down in the edit. And speaking of slowing it down, don't forget to slow your roll and add your comment below on what you would do differently. I'd love to know we're all a community, help each other. All right, want to see my version? Send the drone! I'm going to let you in on a little secret here, and that's that I hate quick shots. And I hate quick shots because they can be very limiting. And I'll show you some of the ways quick shots really don't work out in rocket mode and how you can improve them. But the shot you're looking at right now is actually manually flown. And this is my tip for you, because I want you to be a badass pro drone pilot immediately. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm laying back in the sand and I'm looking at my controller and I'm just lining up the shot to make sure it looks good. And because because it's more important to me to have the dramatics of being lined up with the water, I am making sure I'm not putting the controller down next to me. I'm actually laying it on top of me and I'm taking my hat off and I'm hiding my drone underneath my hat. Given it's so far away, you can barely see it. You don't notice it. But if you start looking closely, you'll start to notice these little details that in my opinion, really do make a difference. Actually, I don't know. Tell me in the comments below on social media for things like that. Do you notice those small details or stuff or it doesn't matter because it's such a quick scroll. 
I'd love to know your opinion. So I'm manually flying the shot and literally all I'm doing since I've already lined up my shot is I'm just pressing the up button and I'm flying the drone directly up. That's what a rocket is and that's it. Oh, that was so fun. And don't forget, that is not the only way you can do this. That's just my spin on it. So share with me what you would do differently. I'd love to know. I'm gonna go film the second part of the video, which is the Helix. Check it out over there. Make sure you check out Faye. Add your comments below. And I will see ya in the next video. Ciao.